Without any coding experience, you can now build a mobile app directly from your phone, and AI will even design the logos, the icons, and all of the images within your app using this new AI tool. Let's imagine for a second that I just opened a pizza place called Riley's Pies, and I wanted an app that allowed users to select ingredients from a menu, and that would add to the cost, and then when an ingredient was selected, it showed an image of the pizza with those ingredients on the pizza. All we need to do is open the Vibe Code app and then press this plus sign at the top right corner and then explain everything that we just outlined. We can use the new voice input model. I want to create an app that allows users to buy pizzas. Please have pepperoni, red pepper flakes, and mushrooms as the three options in the menu. Please use the new GPT-40 image model to generate these assets so that when the user taps on these, they get placed on the pizza. And then we press this orange button and we are now creating this app. Okay, it's done, let's see. Let's see our app. Okay, look, it generated this image of a pizza. And now if we click on pepperoni, let's see what happens. Oh, what? Those are massive pepperoni pieces. Okay, that's pretty solid. Let's check out the red pepper flakes. Ah, okay, so it didn't actually remove the background of the red pepper flakes. Let's check out the mushroom. So, okay, that's not bad. So let's go ahead and make an edit to our app. Please change the red pepper flakes to olives and then add two other ingredients and also create more images for those ingredients as well, exactly as you did with the other ingredients. Change the name of the app, Riley's Pies. All right, now we are making a change to the app. Okay, this is downloading. Let's take a look, Riley's Pies. And look, we have more ingredients. So not only can we add pepperoni, and the other ingredients that we have. We now have bell peppers, looking good. Uh, Italian sausage, I, I wish they put this much sausage on our pizzas. Pineapple, oh, those are big. And look at that, that is a huge pizza. And notice how when we add olives, it's gonna go up from 1655 uh, to 1754. And there you go, and we can hit checkout, and boom. You know what, let's make this checkout screen a little bit better. Thank you from Riley's Pies. So we can just go to this menu button where it says thank you from Riley's Pies after you hit checkout. Please make that bigger, more fun, and make it look more like a receipt. So now we're making the final change. Okay, now it's downloading. Okay, it's done. Oh, update successful, let's see. So we're gonna hit okay. Where's our pepperoni? There it is. Now let's see what happens when we press checkout. Check out, boom, look at that. It looks like a receipt. It added those big red background on the top and bottom of this component. So we created Pizza Builder Pro. If you go to the homepage and you hold down Pizza Builder Pro, you're gonna see this option to download the project. So let's go ahead and download this project and it is preparing for download. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in cursor. Okay, so when it says download project, we're just gonna copy the URL. We copied the URL on our phone and that means we can paste it on our computer if you have a Mac. And so we're gonna paste this right here and as soon as you paste it into a browser, it automatically downloads a zip file. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to open up Cursor. We just opened up a new Cursor window, and when we go to Finder in Downloads, we see our zip file. So let's just go ahead and double click on this. Now it creates this Project 2 folder, and we can just drag this in right here. So now we have this new Project 2 file on cursor. We now have cursor open. And so now what we want to do is we want to be able to use cursor to edit the app and be able to test it immediately on the Vibe Code app. That's exactly what we're going to do. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up this integrated terminal and we're going to type in bun i. After we do bun i, we're going to type in bun start space dash dash tunnel. And this is going to now give us a QR code that we're gonna open in camera. So this gave us a QR code. And so now what we're gonna do with our camera, we're just gonna open up camera and we're just going to scan this QR code and now it's gonna say open in vibe code. And now it is actually going to run this app directly in the vibe code app. So now we have Riley's Pies open on our phone right here. 
And this is very interesting. I can screenshot this. And for those of you who've used cursor, you have this agent here on the side. The toppings are pretty weird formatting. Please fix these and make them horizontal menu, side to side. Make sure I can see the image. Actually, let's see what happens. The pepperoni still shows up on the pizza. Don't change how they show up on the pizza. And you can actually see this updating live on the phone. So all of these changes are updating live. Okay, this is starting to look good. Cursor is coming in clutch. Okay, so we have this horizontal slider view right here. So now what I wanna do is on this page right here, when I hit checkout, you can see that this Riley's Pies pops up. I wanna have a logo right here. And so let's go ahead and take a screenshot of myself. We're gonna to toss this into chat GPT. We're gonna make sure that we're on GPT 4.0. Please make this guy a cartoon logo holding a pizza box. Make him wearing a red shirt and white hat. Should say Riley's Pies. All right, the image is loading. Hey, why is it making my ears so big? Wow, that's amazing. I'm gonna quickly open up Canva. I wanna make sure that it takes up this whole square right here, remove the background. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to download this as a PNG file with a transparent background. Now we have this logo Riley. And so now we can actually just drag this logo Riley into the assets folder and i'm going to say please put logo riley as the logo on the top of the receipt after checking out make it kind of big so now we're going to make that image uh, render up here so we'll see if that works and we are using this on our phone remember that like we are testing this right now on our phone and it's gonna update live. Okay, so we're gonna refresh this before we test it. And now let's check out. And boom, there is our logo right there. We created it on ChatGPT. We now have Riley's Pies and this is the app that we created. We started in Vibe Code and we finished in Cursor. And in the next video, I'm gonna go over in depth on how to go from this point on to the actual app store. And that is a little bit longer of a process. You can vibe deploy it to the app store. It's gonna be great. And I'll see you here for the next video.